I don't think you guys understand, but I'm usually on a time limit when I do these redesign videos. Just so you guys can make it very obvious that I'm on one, I'm gonna make it worse for me, hopefully better for you, and basically give myself a super limited time to either fix, redesign, or hopefully just make the actual poster that you guys see in today's videos better also though speaking of making it better if you guys are fans of really cool custom assets check out my everything pack it's a one-time purchase for custom assets for literally life on purchase to get 23 exclusively custom made products designed by myself as well as the discord community where you can talk and have some fun share some ideas and also get some other resources and all that good stuff so yeah if you guys are a fan of really cool assets check the link down below and yeah if you want to be spoiled for the rest of your life that's a good purchase, all I'm saying. Did I also mention everything's free for commercial use? Let's hop into the video. So we have the Jimmy Butler poster by Cini. Now, if I'm decent at design, I should take this, right? And like fine tune it or like level it up or just like a little bit. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say 25 minutes on the clock. Oh, saying that out loud just made me realize that it's not good enough. <laughs> I mean, realistically, it's already a really good design. So like, it should be pretty easy to hopefully help it. Let's get this going. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so 25 minutes on the clock. So what's that gonna, I just realized I'm nervous now. Okay, so first things first, I think the photos here already are making it seem like we're probably gonna need some new, oh, I would even, Oh, we're gonna need some new photos probably. So the first thing I wanna do and type in Jimmy Butler and hopefully I can get something that's like pretty decent like this. Where's like the back photo? I need like something like a, like a back photo. This one is high quality, but the two and the 22, okay? So we're gonna just say it's okay. Let's just save this one. Okay, I don't have time to like mess around. This court shot really good, but I understand if we took this and just kind of use a little bit of perspective, make this a little bit bigger, we can hopefully get a little bit better of a court look and feel a little more better than kind of like this angle that he has going on here. Let's look at the photos in and let's get this started. So I'm gonna take these photos. We're gonna make sure his shoulder's there. We're not gonna have the same mistake as the original, right? And if you ask, yes, I am using my mouse. I know, I have a steady hand, what can I say? The overall color correction of him, I'm not gonna worry too much about it, but I do know I need to get in here for a quick second and just make sure I give him a little bit of love in. Yellow can definitely go. You see how like it has this yellow film over it? I take the yellow down, it looks way better. The overall trophies themselves are a little bit too like sporadic and they also, I think you try to like have the idea. He's like holding the trophy. I don't care so much for that aspect of it. I think that alone kind of made it look unbalanced in my opinion. So I'm gonna just say to myself, we're not gonna give a damn about the idea of, you know, or I mean, I can kind of probably get away with this being like, like that. And you know what? <laughs> I love how I'm gonna instantly buy my words, but I'm gonna do that. We're gonna add in some a little bit of shout outs. How much time do I have? 16 minutes? Oh my God. Something like this. Why is it orange blue? Oh, please come on. I don't have time. Just come on. It's something where it looks decent from far away. And that's what we're gonna enjoy. So this shadow here on the actual bottoms of these bases, need to go you know what would probably be easier if i just select the subject and then just use a layer mask to get rid of it because then the shadow is just going to be gone regardless i think am i smart oh my god my camera just lags so oh my that was dangerous photoshop that did work i'm gonna i'm not gonna do it again because i just saw my whole entire life flash more <laughs> Can you tell I'm nervous? We're gonna take the other photo for a second. That should be the back of it. And then just make him nice and big like so, right? The background has a little bit of this kind of colored idea going behind it. Now we can do that with a curves. We can clip mask this. We can hold alt, hold the auto, take the fine lights and darks, use the shadows. Let's find a nice deeper blue that he has. And we'll find this really nice orange tone over here. The hope is that we make this background look pretty like together in that idea. So I think that works for me. I mean, it's not great. Did he use the same colors? So right now the line of the court is not blurred. So that's a problem. We gotta make sure this above the court itself is also blurred. So, so I'm gonna go in once again, add that orange hue, but I also gotta kind of cup the overall idea a little bit more. So it's, it's you get a subtle line back here. That's okay. So I'm gonna take this over here we're gonna put it in the foreground a little bit too this tree has so much noise the left hand side just feels heavy the right hand side feels really empty so if i just say if i move this over a little bit give a little bit of texture on the right hand side as well as the left hand side we can then say to ourselves maybe it'll feel a little bit more balanced that's what at least what i'm hoping for the jimmy butler text this can instantly what it can instantly what and we're gonna go to the go-to. Little Druk, right? The word Jimmy will just use Druk as well, but like a like a medium italic like this. I actually enjoy this stroke idea that's going on here. I wonder if we have time to make it a little bit more like, like purposeful. Like what if we just use like a nicer, 
like offsetish kind of white tone. That way it kind of matches a little bit better. I see Miami Heat down here, actually. I didn't even notice that. So I, I use Droop for this. I'm gonna use Droop for this as well over here, right? I'm gonna put in some sort of like something else. So we're gonna put, uh, oh my God, please think. What can I put? I need texture. I need something. We're just gonna put a random court. Boom, right? I got some more, some something else, okay? Let's pretend. Huh? What? What kind of, did you put a box? You mm, weirdo, that was a little weird. Let's try to use that same like more displayish font. This is a guess. This is definitely not a for sure we know it's gonna work. Not bad. Okay, let's just, let's just continue. Okay, I'm gonna make a new layer. We gotta do a little bit of lighting. We're gonna take this like lighter yellow tone for a second here and kind of just get over here and just get a nice little sort of halo rim light. Okay, that's pretty decent, right? We did, we did something there. We just gotta do it again. Do I have to actually? No, take this duplicate it over I, and someone was screaming at me for sure i i heard you through the screen and i appreciate that now we're gonna get a very very small amount of black just so that it feels like it's on the ground right we don't need to go crazy with the overall shadow just yet we're gonna go here make a nice simple shadow like this because this is the easiest to replicate now i think i'm missing some more texture though. i'm missing like miami heat logo png now the oh my god it's so different why two minutes two minutes okay we need like the logo in white. Let's just go with this. Oh, it's it's not even a real PNG. <laughs> Delete, invert, take it, and we'll make this white. Now this little white texture here should be way better than what the heck this is. We need something somewhere. We need this like right here, or over here, or down here, or over here. I have one minute. Okay, one minute. I can take this. Maybe really quickly, I'll just give this a little bit more of a like a better like a better outline. Something like this. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this. Troll enter. Take the color. Boom. Does that look better? Oh, that does not look good. Oh, uh, okay. Please, let's just do this. Fill in these little gaps for a second. Boom. 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 I'm done. I'm done. This is the before and after that we got. To be honest, it's not that fantastic, but it's also not terrible. So taking from what Cini did from the original, I think the overall composition itself just lacked the idea of filling some of the space and actually having the player and the trophies feel purposely placed. We just need a little bit of like a closer perspective. So that's what I ended up doing for mine. I do think his idea of the backgrounds, you know, separation between the actual court up to the upper portion of the overall graphic. He's a little bit better. I need. I definitely need some kind of dark hit in the between. You know, I think the overall typography is a little bit more cleaner, a little more legible. I had 25 minutes. So is this a W or did I take an L? You let me know. And if it's honestly an L, keep it to yourself. Okay, keep it, keep it to yourself. Okay, so to be honest, Okay, so to be honest, I fully did not recover. Obviously, I dropped my phone from the last challenge. I'm gonna hop right into another one. But this time we have a Rocket League trivia poster designed by the Codfather was his actual name. So overall, this project here has a few more things that I think I would need a little bit more time to. I see a little bit of like just, you know, just desert with like a road with like some sort of like text on the road itself. I appreciate that overall idea. So realistically, I'm not excited about this one. I, I'm gonna struggle with this one for sure, but I'm gonna say 30 minutes to hopefully bring this poster a little bit more organization, but overall, it's not a bad idea. I just wanna see what I can do. Three, two, one, start. 30 minutes on the clock. Okay, what the, I just noticed, that's a chain? Why we got chains in here? You did, is he like dragging the ball? Is that what's happening here? I don't, I don't want the, can I not, I don't wanna. First things first, I might have to just take this and move this out of here. You have a lot of color corrections on that PSD, which is great, it's amazing. But for me, I have no time to siphon through that. So I'm gonna say, bring this in here. Let's bring the car. Um, I've actually been playing a little bit of Rocket League too. It's been kind of fun, not gonna lie. I don't have the font that you're using, but you're using something called, oh, it's Druk Trial. It's, I got Druk. This background, it's kind of sick, actually. Oh, so use the hexagons, okay, to make it look like the overall field in Rocket League. I can see the idea you got it. Okay, let's just see, though, if I can figure out how to make it work for myself. So you have saturation. What is a normal? Oh, Shutterstock, okay. <laughs> I expose you. Okay, honestly, I'm focusing way too much on this background right now. Although we have yet to place all these elements, I, the more I look at this, the, the actual more I get nervous. I, I'm actually curious if I want to do like a Rocket League map. Oh, this is a sick map though. Where is this map and what is it called? Like, are we okay if I do that? Is it passable? I mean, it looks a little bit different. It makes sense. That it looks a little bit different though at the same time. There's so many things that are running through my head, guys. This is so difficult. Have something like that and then hopefully just see what happens if I just quickly erase this with like, a very crappy erase. Will this work for our composition? The answer is, 
that it's not bad. So if it's not bad, it's good enough. This ball is killing me though. This ball, this like bluish, reddish, purplish hue over it definitely needs to go. So we're gonna go over here, filter cam raw filter, and we're gonna just take the purples, the magentas, and even the greens, put up the textures a little bit. Okay, so realistically, I have no idea where to even put these logos and I'm not even gonna like worry about it too much. I mean, I don't even know if they even need to be here. I think Gamers Feud might be like, it's a trivia game. I'm gonna at least get over here and we're gonna make sure we actually make this road a certain color scheme that kind of resembles the background as well. So like, does this tiny bit of blue help? I mean, it's it's not bad. I mean, it definitely works for what it needs to, whatever. That, that's fine for now, okay? Let's bring this up. Honestly, the Wednesday, pretty freaking pointless. Who cares, right? We'll take this. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm freaking, I'm freaking out. That looks good to me. Like, I don't know about you, but this would work like this, right? You would think it would work, but obviously it doesn't. We can probably try to shrink this like so, but then we're just getting like really close to the bottom and it just feels a little too just like, like feels really awkward to me. So no go on that one. And we're just gonna start working on some shadow stuff. This little shadow right here is pretty decent, right? Nice little shadow work there. Maybe this. I know this is not the, the logo. I'm, I just care about the yellow for a second. This yellow, put this like right here. Maybe I can put the word trivia in here instead. I wish I could do white. I wanna do white text, but for me to do white text, I would need to make this box a darker tone. I would need to make this like a red. Is that okay? That's okay. We're okay so far. We're at, we are at nine minutes. Not, we're not okay. Now we'll do the twitch.tv. Maybe you can go down here. Maybe you can even go inside of this. I don't hate it in here, but it, nothing else. There's too much kind of, just too much going on there. So I'm going to say no. Obviously we don't have much time left, unfortunately. Photoshop has been like lagging tremendously for me right now. So I'm trying to keep it as fair as possible. So I'm going to go like this. We're just going to try to emphasize some more shadows because the overall car looks very like kind of flat. I like the darker background in his tone. I'm not gonna lie. I do like the darker background over here. Hold up, stick with me for a second. What if we use a gradient, choose something like this. Obviously the right hand side will be the nice blue tone we had. There's a little more purplish to it. So I'm gonna make this a little more purplish. Now, where do I wanna go from here? Maybe I wanna erase it a little bit like so, or like a circle-ish, what about that? Okay, then we'll just take the bottom over here and make sure this is pretty much clean cut. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I definitely need that little bit of a darker tone, but we're not done yet. We Got, we gotta try something. We gotta do something else. And with five minutes left, I don't know if I got much life in me right now. Okay, if I look back at his, he has this little like blue streak over here. I'm gonna just start taking stuff from his and we're just gonna start putting it on mine. We're just gonna, we're gonna be stealing. So I like how that looks. Now I guess at this point, I don't have much time. I only have three minutes left, okay? So I'm gonna take some of the stuff over here. We're gonna add some light glows over here as well. We're gonna boom, boom. I mean, I can probably add like the game fueled, whatever this is right here. I can probably add that on this over here as well. Maybe it's a world where I'm gonna put it at the, at the top, maybe like so. Literally a minute left. I mean, there's nothing else I can visibly see right now that I'm missing. Uh, What is this? What is this? Oh God. I don't have time for all that so i'm gonna say oh i can just do a final call correction i'll do that come on oh my god please oh my god open please 30 seconds maybe like this maybe like a little bit of whites over here maybe like take the blue hues change it up a tiny bit maybe like that's enough a little darker in the color i'm not it's not my favorite actually maybe like ah, ah that's it that's all i got that's that's all i got <laughs> okay Okay, so with that though, that leaves us to a nice little before and after. Now on his concept, I think a lot of what was wrong for me in my opinion was the white space. That was what I wanted to tackle immediately going on to my actual concept. I mean, the overall word trivia was also kind of hidden. Putting that in the foreground kind of helps as well. I didn't get to do as much as I wanted. Honestly, I wasted so much time just finding assets or making it work. And there's so much information and then Photoshop's lagging. I mean, I hope that it's better. It feels a little bit more like just cleaner and like at the approach. But for the most part, did I take a W or did I take an L? And let me know. So you could put like basketball poster WL, Rocket League poster WRL. I want to know. I want to see if you guys think it's decent. And also, if you guys enjoy these challenges, let me know because I'm done for now. But yeah, I mean, that's all I got. So with that being said, since we're HQ out, you are going to keep smiling, stay positive and stay freaking proud of the guys. Little much love, peace. And I hope these challenges a little more fun. I mean, it, I wish I wish I had more time on this one, because it, it, but it's okay. I'll see you guys later. Peace.